After winning Battle of the Bands for a second year, Northwestern student band The Syndicate, who performed under the name Acid Trap, was on their way to getting to the big stage. However, that way consisted of only one rehearsal. We're trying to get our sound together. I think it's really been coming together these past couple months. So we want to go up there and have like, you know, this band has a style. When I hear them, that's them. There are a lot of very strong personalities in the group, which can be a problem, but it can also lead to some incredible musical experiences. Because I think consciously or subconsciously, your personality comes out in your music. High winds by the lakeshore forced Mayfest to cancel Dillo Day. But within the same day, at around 2 p.m., about 50 students gathered at a nearby house where the syndicate had an impromptu concert. We were lucky enough to figure out that the street feed basement was available. So we were like, oh, let's play there. So we just threw together a show, like, very impromptu. We put it all on Facebook and we texted all our friends, like, hey, come out to the show. And yeah, people came out, so it was really fun playing down there and everything. It ended up being a lot better of a show than it would have been on the lake, Phil. Honestly, we had a lot of people come out and had a nice, like, intimate vibe to it. Originally, on stage, we weren't going to be performing with Thaddeus, our rapper. Um, but since we were able to push the time back and perform off campus, he was able to, to perform with us. Playing house parties, that's probably our... We always come away from it with the most positive energy. It's a lot of fun to like make your peers around you dance because a lot of us are used to playing in like concert halls where it's much older crowd. Like it's just a very different vibe playing in a basement for a crowded group of your peers who are all drunk and like partying. The syndicate members plan to keep playing together for as long as they can and possibly get discovered by a major producer. They can be found on SoundCloud and Facebook and have more music to come in the future.